All right guys, so the last test that we're gonna look at on the stomp it plates uh, is the push-up test. So again, I did a max push-up test before. You'll be able to head back to the previous video and have a look at my, how I went there. But we're gonna have a look at, again, a max velocity, so up and down as fast as I can. We're gonna have a look at a paused push-up and I'm gonna look at an isometric push-up as well and start to get the data there. There's literally over 100 tests you can do with the Axit system, so I can't show you them all, but these are the ones that are gonna be the most meaningful for me to create a program. And that's what you wanna do with your own patients and clients, is you wanna make sure that you've got the most meaningful test and the most meaningful data that you're actually gonna do something with. There's no point collecting data if you're not gonna action it and use it, all right? So let's go have a look at the push-up tests. So to do the max velocity push-up test, all I'm gonna do is adopt the normal push-up position that you've seen me do before, and I'm gonna do three uh, at a far, as fast as I can. Better make sure I hit start first. Okay, I'm gonna do three as fast as I can. Great, we'll hit stop there. Okay, so again, that tells me that I'm putting about 10% more force through the left side, and I'm generating the force Pretty similarly side to side. Let's have a look at the next test. Let's look at a pause push up. So again, let's hit start. Go down into a pause position. I'm gonna hold for two seconds and then push up as fast as I can. I'm gonna go down into that same position, hold for two seconds, push up as fast as I can. I might go down into a pause position, push up as fast as I can. Let's have a look there. So again, about 10% more through the left side there and rate of force development reasonably similar on both sides, okay? Like 3% higher on the right, so pretty similar both sides. Let's have a look at the last test, a push-up isometric test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the bar in there for this test. I'm gonna go... I've just grabbed the bar pad to make it a little bit more comfortable for myself performing this test. And I'm gonna go in under this bar and push up through there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push up as hard and as fast as I can, and then relax. I'm going to push up as hard and as fast as I can, and relax. And again, push up as hard and as fast as I can, and relax. And stop there. So I've got 15% more through the left arm. And the rate of force development is actually 15% more through there as well. So we've got a maximum um, force there using the isometric push-up test as well. So that I can then go and start to compare, you know, to what I was doing on the bench press potentially in the previous um, test that you've looked at. So if you want to see all the data, head across the website, click the link above. If you haven't already signed up to see all the data, to see all the different tests that I've gone through, and you haven't written me a program yet, make sure you do. Head over there now. The best program uh, for me, uh, that someone writes, is going to win a free Matt Live course in 2019. So head across there now, uh, enter your program, send your program through to me, and if yours is the program I choose to do for the, either the first or second month, you win the Matt Live course.